Pen, wow, it smells good. Sm I'm telling you guys, it's me you're talking to me, man. What? Ooh, guys, I, I, I pressed rub it like that inside the earring. Welcome back to another video, guys. As you can see right here, it's gonna be an amazing day. I'm gonna cook something that is very unique, something you have never seen before. And uh, let me introduce the spices to you. So today it's gonna actually be baked chicken. Yes, it's gonna be a different kind of baked chicken though. So something you can learn. Now, so on today's spices, I do have some garlic, ginger, and pimento. We're gonna be using one teaspoon of each. So garlic, ginger, and pimento. We have some ground turmeric, as well as some Italian seasoning. Now, going further down, we have some lemon pepper seasoning, some chili powder, and uh, as you can see over here, we also have some garlic powder. So guys, it will be one teaspoon of each, as I said. So let me just put these guys to the back to introduce the other things to you. So here, we also have some olive oil, as you can see. We also have some all-purpose seasoning, as well as some black pepper and some sauce and pockets. All right, so you can get these at Walmart if you're in you know, the States or wherever you are. You can just try any local store in Jamaica and you should get these. All right, we have some lemon pepper as well and we are gonna be using half stick of butter. All right, well, it's half of butter. All right, now, to my card here, I do have some vinegar as well. And guys, let me tell you, we could just get it, no man. We could just get what we have to do, no man. So right here, if you look up here, so we'll have some Parsley, you understand? And let me tell you what's another name. I'm gonna tell you what's the other one name. This one is called cilantro. You guys know cilantro, right? Yes, man. So we have some parsley and cilantro, the greens, then you understand. We have some of this escalion for the rice later. And without even any further ado, let us get straight into the pot. The man, in the yes, come on, guys. Guys, are you ready for this? Guys, we're not ready for this. No, y'all ain't ready for this, guys. Y'all ain't ready for this. But I'm ready, all right? Because I'm a professional chef. As I told you guys, I got my license. No, I'm not gonna talk too much because I wanna show action today because, you know, we gotta get the food done, man. We gotta get the food. We're feeling hungry. So, I have my bowl like this right here. As you guys can see, I have my bowl like this. And uh, what I wanna do first, actually, is to cut up these guys. So I'm gonna get these guys cut up. Let me just take off these guys, off it like that. And then I'm gonna wash it. I washed it already, but I'll wash it again just for the sake of the video, you know. So, you know me, I cook for everybody, so we're gonna make sure we say we'll, we'll uphold the highest safety. So that amount is good, you understand? So I have that, I have my, this as well. I think this amount should be good, you understand? Let me take out back some of this. All right, there we go, guys. So we're gonna put these guys one side right over here, and I'm gonna wash these guys what that we're going to use today. All right, so let me just wash them. Them on, let's get, let's get them washed today. So over by the sink, All right? Wash them off. Wash them off really good. You know, kind of clear the space because we have some one and two strong right here. All right, so let me put these guys over here. And yeah, I'm gonna put it in my blender, make everything blend up, you know, look good, you know, things like that. Yeah, man, so let me just get it cut up. Just cut up a little bit for the blender. There we go. There we go. Simple as that, guys. See, as a professional chef, guys, you know how to cut these things. You understand? Yeah, man. Oh, my, my, my cutting skills is up. You understand? Guys, I don't, guys, I don't even worry about the safety. All right, guys. So here we come back. Um, I finished cut up the season, the season that you saw me cutting up earlier. That's finished. And uh, I currently have it in here, you know, chopped up in here. And also the other seasonings that I showed you earlier, um, butter is right here. And all the seasoning that you can see over here, all of them, just one teaspoon, okay? Just one teaspoon is inside this bottle, which I'm about to blend right now. All right, so shall we get into it? Yeah. All right, as well as the olive oil and other things, it's inside. Everything that I showed you guys earlier is inside this bottle. All right, so let's get into it. All right, and then just... All
let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for the bottom. Let me put it in, in here. All right, let's see what's going on, guys. Woo! Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Kind of like scrape up like everything. See what I'm saying, guys? And then, after now, I think this might needs just a bit more, uh, I think I should actually put just a bit more of the olive oil on it. All right, here we go. Then I'll probably just mix it together. Looks like this right now. Uh, can you guys see what's going on? It looks like this. It looks guys. Right, so you see what we did here, right? And right now it's pretty thick. So what we want to do to get it to be a little watery, we want to put it into the microwave, all right? So we want to put it in the microwave for a bit, and then you know we want to get it watery. So you want to keep mixing it, you know, just mixing everything out. Also. To blend it is optional, it is really up to you, you know, if you want to blend it or not. I just like to blend it because it gets the leafy part, you know, all crushed up, you know, so yeah. So it's really optional if you want to blend, but definitely the microwave is essential if you want to get it like a little bit more water because this is like really thick right now, you get me, so yeah, it's microwave time. All right. All right, so let's get the microwave open. Put these guys over here. Here. It's now time Let's to put it in the microwave. Right about two minutes. So, see you guys in two minutes. Two minutes. Pen, wow, it smells good. I'm telling you guys, it's me, you're talking to me, the man. What? Ooh, guys, I, I, I pressed. All right, guys, so we've got now two minutes, you know, and, uh, ooh. Wow, it's pretty hot. So we're gonna be careful we take it out. Ah, wow, there we go. All right, sweet. So now I can go ahead and, yeah. So now it is actually watery, just like how we want it. Here we go. You guys can see what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, sweet. And uh, I'm gonna get my chicken ready, you know, just wash them, vinegar, and uh, we're gonna start. You know, we're gonna start with it, I'm gonna start putting everything inside the oven, all right? So, yeah, so the sauce is ready. I'm gonna get my chicken, I'm gonna probably do like four pieces of thigh, four pieces of leg, and then reserve the rest for, reserve the, the rest for later. Uh, need this to put it out. So cut it out like that. Here we go. So I have this cut out. Uh, let me get this guy, which I'm gonna wash inside. So there's 74 pieces of piece right here. Or maybe about five pieces actually. That should be enough. There's that guy right there. Let me get this guy now. So we need approximately the same amount. One, two, three, for and Riker, if you're watching this, I'm gonna put one extra for you. Five. All right, here we go, Riker. That's for you, my boy. All righty. So let's go. So wash them. You know, wash them nice. Ensure that everything looks really good. Yeah. Sweet. All right. And now let's put some vinegar on it, guys. So I'm a vinegar right here, and show you some vinegar to wash your meat, keep it clean. You get what I'm saying? Because we don't want any, you know, bacteria getting in, inside of us, because that's gonna get us sick, right? Yeah, and you don't want to get sick right now, because if we get sick, then it's gonna be very horrible. You know, especially in a time like this. You don't, you don't want to get sick. Let's place some more vinegar, actually. All right, so here we go. Wash my chicken. Washing my chicken right now, and you guys should do the same, all right? Remember, wash your chicken. Gonna just drain it off. Probably 
Run some more water. There we go. All right, sweet. You guys know what I'm saying now, right? Chicken is washed and it's now time to put them onto our baking pan. So let me get the ba my baking pan real quick. All right. All right, let me get my baking pan. It's just right below here. I think I'm gonna use this, this guy here because it's just so much easier to use this one. I don't know why. It's just really easy. I'm gonna turn my baking, my big, this guy to 350. Let's go. 350, we want it to go to 350. So you're gonna preheat for about 10 minutes. We we'll let that guy preheat for 10 minutes. And yeah, put it at 350, all right? So um, let me just be sure that you guys can see what's going on well. All right guys, so let's go ahead to apply the chicken you know, on our grill. So we got our three legs, see what I'm saying? Then apply our ties, there we go. Let it roll right there and the finishing touch and give these guys some space. You also got an extra leg. This guy needs his space. That's Riker legs. So yeah. All right, Riker. See, I'm looking over for you, man. All right, there we go. So now I got my sauce right over here. You see what I'm saying? And I'm gonna apply it onto my chicken right now. Here we got my sauce. And let's apply it onto my chicken. All right, there we go. And actually what we could do to even make it even better, could just dip the chicken inside the sauce, you rain. You see what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, just dip the chicken inside of the sauce. You know, should I get my hands dirty? I really don't want to get my hands dirty, so I might just use the, the thing. The thing, what thing am I looking for now? All right, guys, so just give me one second to get that thing. All right, here we go. I found that thing, so I'm just gonna wash it real quick. And then, yeah, this makes a lot more sense, you rain. How do you use this thing? No worries. I can figure it out. You know what, just, yeah, just rub it like that inside the earring. See what I'm saying, guys? See, rub it, rub it in like that, and then now, voila. You see, it's more effective that way, so we're gonna do it that way as well. Let's go. Here we go. Rub it in like that, just like that. And there we have your nice chicken, looking like that. Put it over there, grab an next piece, just like that. You see what I'm saying, guys? I'm very professional, like, honestly, I'm honestly like a chef, and uh, I do things up to standards, up to par, and I just like how I do things like this because you know you gotta you, you, you gotta put on a show, right? Yeah. So right now Riker isn't even here. Riker isn't so far away. Riker's not here, not giving out his location, but right right now, when when that bro tastes my chicken, he's gonna love it. I'm telling you. I mean, he always liked the food. He always like the Jamaican side of food. You know, because I don't know what. I don't know what he eats, like, I don't know, I always tell that guy, I don't know how he does it, you know, I don't know how he eats, what he eats, he just eats pasta, then he eats, I don't know, man, anyhow, got a few more chicken here, oh, you got limited amount of seasonings remaining, no, no worries, right, we got in it, guys, we got in it, our oven is being hot for us right now, here we go, and get our seasonings, you know, soaked right into that guy. A little more right here. All right. Here we go, guys. See what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, wow. All right, let's just, you know, kind of brought out everything else on it. And then one thing I need, I know, need to do, I'm going to use my onions. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to wash off the onion as well as the knife. All right, so my onions is washed and now I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna place it right over these guys. Let's get the onions to be cut. Ah, okay, there we go. Let's just cut a few onions and place in these guys right here. See what I'm saying? All right, there we go. Come on guys, cut up. Let's take out that piece. Here we go. Why they don't dismantle, man? They all should be scattering. They all staying together. All right, there we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go, guys. So, you know, you're right here, and yeah, you know, we're getting, 
I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You know, let's put a bit more. And yeah, I think that should be it. And now all we need is our lemon pepper right now. Then you wash it again. You're gonna wash it earlier, just to wash it again. You need like about four pieces of lemon, freshly cut lemon. One, probably like this. Oh wow! So I, made, I missed the cutting just now, but yeah. Put it one big red bow right here. Put one like right there. Then cut again. And hold on. Put one like right here. And put one like right here. And then that should be our lemon. And guys, <laughs> wow! You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying? Look at that. You rain did this. One, two, well, lots of chicken right here. So now my oven is ready for me. You know, it's on 350 right now. I'm gonna go inside actually. Let me turn on the light so you guys can see what's going on. I'm gonna go inside. And yeah, that's gonna stay for 30 minutes, guys. That should stay for 30 minutes, all right? 30 minutes. That should stay inside the oven. And then once 30 minutes is finished, you put it on to get this crispy on it for the next 10 minutes and then we are out. So see you guys in 30 minutes, guys. I'm gonna see you guys in 30 minutes, all right? All right. So there we go. That has been our 30 minutes wait. Guys, so let us go ahead to open. Wow, it smells good. I'm telling you guys, it's me, you're talking to me, the man, what? Ooh, guys, I, I, I pressed, I, I, <laughs> my hand touched the wrong part of the oven, my bad. Woo! Alrighty. Wow. Wow, amazing. Look at that, man. Guys, let me show you guys what's up, because it's like you all not seeing what's going on here. Oh, wow. Sweet. <sighs> Specially made, specially made. You see what's up, you see what's up, you see what's up. All right, here we go. Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, you know. There we go, guys. So what you want to do to get the, the skin more crips, you know, is that we're going to put it in for another 10 minutes. However, this time it's going to be on 450 for just 10 minutes to get the you know everything crispy and you know nice down so yeah man 10 minutes at 450 guys and that's what we're gonna do right now so let's put it right in but you guys see what's going on right here i just like what you guys see you know i'm gonna put it back in let me put this rest in the sink all right so if you guys also notice i cleaned up back let me just say you know because another place was looking a little messy just now but yeah man i'm cleaning back everything and it's time for us to go back inside now so I'll put it in as you can see Right, and we're gonna give it another 10 minutes on 450 this time, right? So you wanna change it to 450, that way you can get the best Cripsy chicken. So um, 10 minutes, I'm gonna see you guys again, so stay tuned, I hope you guys are loving this video. I'm gonna have some bad food later, I'm gonna put on the rice, say no, say yeah, different thing, you know. All right guys, boom bam. So we are now back. It has been actually 50 minutes, actually. So I put it in for 30 minutes, and then on that was on uh, 30 minutes on 350 and then I put it about 20 minutes actually on uh, 450 right so now that we got the cripsy you know everything is just cripsy right now basically so actually I don't know let's look let's look if it is cripsy smells even much better right now and let's see what's going on ah okay let's see did I got it burnt? Maybe a little bit, but trust me, it's looking good. It's not burnt. It is not burnt, actually. Let's see what's going on. Let me wash out my spoon. I'll probably just turn them and see what's happening here. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So you know when I have this bad boy with some rice, it's going to be over, right? You guys know. So you guys look. There we go. All right, so let me show you guys something now on a, on, a, on a nice piece of plate. All right, we're gonna extract it on this little piece of plate and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. So let's take a piece of this guy right here. Let's put it over here. So let me show you guys what the juice is like. Here we go. 
So you guys see all that you know steam coming out. Yeah man. Now you guys can see what's going on right here. All the steam and then I'm gonna try a piece. No guys, I don't know what to expect because it's my first time doing this. I put up so much ingredients inside this. I honestly don't know what to expect. I don't know, I don't know man. But let's try, you know. I don't, I'm just kinda you know I'm like worried if it's not gonna taste good. Because you know, then that's gonna be bad. I use so many chicken. Let's see. Mmm. 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 I don't know how to describe it, man. Is it hard? It's, it's sometimes this guy, this guy, this is unique. Mmm. It's like you can even taste the lemon pepper inside of it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You can taste the lemon pepper. You see what I'm saying? Let's go straight. Mmm. 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 Wow. Guys, you have to try this, okay? I can't tell you. You just have to try it. It's really good. Amazing. 100%. I'm just waiting on my rice to finish cook right now. And then as soon as my rice is finished cook, that's sweet. So guys, that's it for today's show. Hope you guys love it. Hope you guys love my chicken. You know, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be seeing you guys next time. All right. So guys, have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And yeah, you know, when I say this, you know, you know that your rain is going to be out. See you guys.